Yo, what is going on, you merry metagross? Got an absolute banger for you guys today. I love this deck. This is probably the most fun I've had in this format is with this deck. I just love the engine of it. So this is like an updated build of JW's old Urshifu VMAX Moltres deck. Uh, not a whole ton has changed. I've kind of thinned it out a little bit and made it a little bit more aggressive. The big thing that I cut was just a ton of switch cards. We only play like three air balloon now, uh, no escape rope, and then no tower of waters. Uh, I also cut the cricket tune. I think I had that in there in the last build. Uh, I'm pretty sure, but I put these Rose Towers in here, which just combos super well with the Articuno uh, that we're using in here to very aggressively get the Dark Energy in the discard pile so that we can, you know, use those Dire Flame Wings from the Moltres V. And we also combo that with the Rotom Phone. So if we're drawing that one card, we may as well draw a better card than a random one of the random top five is, well, we'd make it less random, but you know what I'm saying? The Rotom Phone combos really well with the Articuno V. The big card that I've added in here, but I'm actually not convinced is worth playing, is this Battle VIP Pass. It is good when we hit it, and because of how aggressive the deck is, we play like Double Crobat. Uh, you know, we have the Rotom Phone, Articuno combo. Uh, because of how aggressive we draw through the deck, usually on our first turn, we can find a Battle VIP Pass or two, but we really don't need a whole ton of basic Pokemon on the first couple turns, especially when we don't know what we're playing up against yet sometimes. So I'm not convinced these are worth playing, to be honest, because I've had so many times where I like use the first one or don't even use the first one yet. And then I see one and I'm just like, well, I don't want any more basics this turn. I have like double Urshifu or double Moltres down depending on the matchup. And I'm just like, I guess I'll play it just to thin it out of the hand. Um, but in the late game, they're really nice. It's like really nice fodder for the Articuno. So they can be really great in the early game. And then we just discard them with the Articuno later. So they're not too much of a burden on our consistency in the late game because of that. But still, I'm not sure if they're worth playing or if it would be better to cut the Battle VIV passes and just go like with more consistency, like fourth Moltres, fourth Great Ball. Uh, probably third Raihan and then maybe a third boss. So I'm not convinced I need another boss, but I wouldn't mind a third Raihan. Two is like just a little bit, <laughs> a little bit risky. I feel like like the third one just to help us find it more consistently. Because up against the Mew V Max matchup, we're basically going Moltres, Moltres, Moltres. Um, that's why a fourth Moltres would be good as well, because we could prize a Moltres and then that gets a little dicey sometimes. I haven't had that happen yet, but it could happen. So could see that. But the Battle VIP passes have felt pretty good so far. Like I said. We aggressively draw through the deck, so we usually see one on the first turn, and then they're not clunking up our hands later on because we thin them out so aggressively with the Articuno V. Um, and then the rest of the deck, pretty like pretty much the same as the older build, but you know, like we have the Urshifu in here, and we have the Moltres. One of them is the main attacker, depending on the matchup. We have the E switches in here, so we can go like back to back G Max Rapid Flows. Raihan can also help us with that as well. If our opponent's drawing prize cards, we grab it with G Max Rapid Flow. They take a knockout with G Max Rapid Flow. We E switch with G Max Rapid Flow. So, like I said, against the, up the, against the Inteleon matchups, we're kind of just like. G Max Rapid Flow and the whole way through, uh, for the most part, we're up against an Italian deck. Um, and then, yeah, Rotom Phone, like I said, combo super well with the Articuno. Uh, got the research of Marnie and Boss, of course. Uh, and then we do have the Pissimian and the Telescopic Sight, which I'm a little bit iffy on as well. It is nice to set up uh, a two hit KO of going like, you know, G Max Rapid Flow for like a 150 on a V Max into the uh, Moltres cleanup, or even Moltres hit them for 190, then they retreat it, and then we can clean up with the G Max Rapid Flow later. But it hasn't come up a whole ton, so I maybe would cut the Pissimian and the telescopic sight i'm thinking about adding a leon in here so our our Moltres can hit a little bit harder that's like a thought i've had um as well as something that could be added as a as a cool tech card in here and because of how aggressive we draw through the deck and thin out the deck it's really not hard, that hard to find those tech cards and the rotom phones help a ton with that as well like to find our Raihans when we need them or the e-switches so i could see something like that but uh, yeah that's the list let's go ahead let's get into some games i'll show you guys how the deck runs like i said it's like definitely my favorite deck to play right now the deck the engine in the deck is just super cool and being able to like back to back to back gmac traffic flow is always pretty cool as well so let's get into some games and uh, get some dubs here we go lost the coin flip and a mulligan so not the best way to start it off but still feeling confident that we can pull out the dub always got to be confident great starting hand though research a bunch of pokemon searches what we really want to find off the rip i guess i don't love the great balls being in the hand this early we like to use those to find the urshifus but it's not the end of the world for sure we are up against some kind of water deck here path to the peak out early as well that's going to be annoying now we do play a lot of stadiums another great ball what <laughs> another great ball okay let's find some pokemon we can actually go for a donk here it is possible for us to donk here got the urshifu we do need a couple more pokemon to pull off the donk actually we don't need that many more we don't know what we're up against we probably want double urshifu though um, with another great ball here. I'm gonna grab. I, I'm fine with another Urshifu grab here, I think. And then we can quick ball away the other great ball and grab ourselves the uh, Moltres. Yeah, so we can go for this Donk here. It's not like a guarantee or anything, um, but definitely worth attempting. Not finding great hits there. Could actually put another Rotom Phone on top. I don't hate the Rotom Phone placement here. Um, 
Well, if we draw to one of our stadiums, you can maybe dig a little bit deeper. All right, let's get the squad down and then go with this research. Could I put the energy on top as well? I, I wouldn't have hid the energy, but good chance we draw into an energy like we did. And actually, we drew into some more combo pieces here to help us pull off this turn one, potentially. We're going to throw out this Rose Tower. Yep, throw out the Rose Tower. I'm going to play the Battle VIP. I don't think I want to take anything off this Battle VIP pass. I don't know what I'd actually want, to be honest. So maybe I'll just discard it, actually. We could go phone. Yeah, we could go phone. Get rid of those two. Get rid of the Raihan as well. But the Raihan could be good. The Raihan might not be that good. But I don't really want anything off. I don't want anything. So I think I actually will go phone. There's that energy. Oh my gosh, the E-switch is there as well. But we can't attack, right? Am I Ooh, hold up. We get the E-switch. No, we are so close. We could almost get the knockout with Crobat. So I could get the E-switch, reconstitute away the energy and the Raihan. We could go for this. This is like unnecessarily risky. Um, then we could battle VIP pass. Hey, this is like so unnecessarily risky, but we could go for it. I kind of just want to go for it, to be honest. Okay, we're going to go for it. <laughs> we're just going to go for it. Um, reconstitute away these two. This is super unnecessarily risky. Don't do this at home. Um, battle VIP pass. We're going to get... Probat and another Articuno. Yeah, get these two. We're going to do this. Dire Flame Wings. We're going to E switch over to the Crobat. This is super unnecessarily risky. Yeah, don't do this at home. Literally not worth it ever. Um, but I'm feeling it right now. I'm feeling saucy or whatever. Um, oof. All right, here we go for two. No, no hit. Oh my gosh, we got the Rapid Strike energy though. But it was more likely we got, it was a higher chance we got the other energy. Well, that failed. Uh, <laughs> We could have put it over here, though. Oof. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and strafe then, I guess, for 30. May as well do some damage and go back into the Articuno. Or I could stay in the active. And I'll go to the Articuno so we can maybe set up a Gale Thrust. All right. With, I completely butchered my bench. So we're definitely in trouble now. But my opponent opened a Sobble and that's it. But here comes a cool crushing hammer. Hit the tails. Very cool. Very nice. Love to see it. And then here comes the Drizzile. Let's see what they go for. Um, they didn't do very much on their first turn. So I'm not expecting a whole ton here on their second turn. Of course, with my butchered bench um <laughs> even a little bit will be enough to keep them in this game to be honest and my kind of overly aggressive turn one to try and go for that donk it was a really cool play if i hit it though right so i have that uh going for me i guess it would have been a really cool play if i had hit it but definitely an overextension don't like i said don't do it um i did it because i'm trying to get you know those clicks and views uh who knows maybe i could do a TikTok with it all right give it the water energy oh i was gonna guess ice rider but actually it is inteleon um no clue how this matchup's gonna go to be honest and we definitely just want to focus down the drizzles and sobbles early is what we usually do against sobble matchups with the urshifu just try and g max rapid flow a lot um no crushing hammerheads please thank goodness that would have been too much oh that's still too much that is super unnecessary hopefully they don't find another patch of the peak to be honest because that's like all of our draw power right now is the rose tower and the reconstitute from the articuno v and I still, it's still so funny that I could have, if I just e-switched over to the Urshifu, but we have more dark energy left in the deck, so it always makes sense to go for the Crobat Donk than the Urshifu Donk. But still, I mean, we were close. We were really close. That does hurt, though. That that hurts a little bit. Dark energy top deck could go with a Venomous Fang to get the knockout, but I think I'd rather just draw cards here. Constitute number one. And you can see how the Reconstitute plus the Rose Tower combo so well together here. Maybe we will go Venomous Fang, actually. I think we will. <laughs> it's like so silly, but it's like not that bad here. The Venomous Fang is like pretty good. Ooh, we got a boss now. No, I think I'm, I'm comfortable knocking out the active. Um, Tire Flame Wings for sure. No reason not to. We have this boss, but I think I think I'm comfortable knocking out the active. The boss doesn't seem necessary. Do I want to reconstitute again to get rid of the Air Balloon and the Raihan? It's my last Raihan though. I think. Yeah, I don't love that. I don't love getting rid of the boss either. I kind of like my hand. Um, so I think we're just gonna go with that Venomous Fang. Hope the Rose Tower kind of sticks as some draw support for the following turn, to be honest. And yeah, it can keep us in the game that way. So that might be important. Got another air balloon now. Um we gotta be careful though. We can't like we can run out of switch cards really fast with this deck sometimes, it feels. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just draw into my air balloons a lot, like when I don't want them. So yeah. I, mean, I guess they could be playing the other Inteleon as well. No, they're playing the, the max bullet Inteleon. We definitely want to G Max Rapid Flow some Sobbles this turn. I don't know if we're gonna get that chance. It was a quick ball getting rid of a water. Another Inteleon coming down, I assume. Are they even going to get to attack this turn? That's another question. They got the VMAX. I guess they could always go with a Snipe Shot or even an Aqua Report. 
Um, it's like a play they could make as well. They could just go with an Aqua Report. That wouldn't be the end of the world as well. And then we'll probably just go with the Venomous Fang. We might want to retreat. Ooh, that is a Suicune. Definitely changes things a little bit. Well, not too much. Uh, Suicune's like... It's annoying to... Suicune's really annoying to deal with because it's not worth three prizes. It's only worth two and we have to two-hit KO it. Suicune's like really awkward for us. The Suicune matchup doesn't feel that bad, but Suicune itself in like something like this. Ooh, the last Rose Tower, huh? Don't love to see that. <clears throat> Once again, I don't want to lose my last Raihan. But I don't even know what I'm doing here. Venomous Fang. I'm getting dinged again already. Got to do something here. Uh, I'm going to put this on my Urshifu. I'm going to put this on my bird. I'm going to constitute the Rose Tower and the Raihan, I think. Yeah, we need to draw some more cards. I can't. This, I'm not going to settle for this being all we got going on. So Marnie, let's go ahead and Rose Tower for one. There's a research. I don't want to get rid of my boss, though. So I'm going to go with the Marnie here. See some fresh cards. <clears throat> they did a decent amount on their turn, so I don't mind resetting their hand. Shouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, we got the... Gale Thrust, which I think I'm leaning towards here. We could still get a GMAX Rapid Flow and Cannibal Sobble, though. So I'm going to go for that <clears throat> instead. We only have one E-Switch left. Man, I'm playing slow. I'm getting dinged. Ooh, there's the E-Switch. That was a really big hit there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reconstitute to get that. And I'm going to get rid of... Well, I guess we don't have a Dark Energy for the Moltres, so that and the Quick Ball, I think. Because I like the Sight, just in case. We might need that uh, to help clean up. Playing on a little bit later on. Fireflame Wings retreat i think i'm gonna leave the energy on the crobat just in case um so i'm gonna take this one off the Moltres because i might want that one on the crobat later and then yeah gmax rapid flow clean up some sobs don't let them become precise that become teleons you know they just keep evolving and you gotta be whoa don't um cut them off at the uh cut them off at the sobbles do that move on you know cut them off at the sobbles don't let them get any further than the sobble is always a really solid game plan really solid choice and we're cruising now like i said we're at an e-switch and we're out of Raihan, so no G-Max G -max Rapid Flows out of nowhere. But I think we're in a really good spot. Another thing that's really nice about the Reconstitute is once you figure out what you're playing against, you can really heavily thin out just everything else in your deck. Like, once you know what you're playing against and you know what you need, you can just be like, okay, I don't want any of this other stuff. And you can just reconstitute it all away really aggressively, which is just really nice. I really like that about this deck. And now our game, can, game plan can become... Gale Thrust into Moltres to hit KO here on this Inteleon. And yeah, we, we've been thinning out our deck really well. We only have 19 cards left in our deck right now because a couple of Marnies have been played, but we're constantly reconstituting away all these dead cards in the hand, all these useless cards, uh, and just like thinning out the deck really well. So when all these Marnies are happening and stuff, we're just like, now our deck is just becoming more and more just like kind of gas, um, really aggressive, good cards that we want to see. So yeah, reconstitute is really nice for those kind of kind of plays. Probably want to keep this Crobat around, but I think we'll probably reconstitute away the Telescopic Sight at this point. And then maybe the top deck setting up another let's have this week and we're yeah like i said we're gonna go for a gale thrust into an aura burn to ko this inteleon but maybe i actually want to keep the site in case they see that play and then go chase my moltres so maybe i want to put the site here down actually i might actually like that a little bit more um, i do want to reconstitute but i don't want to lose the crobat either because once i free up some bench space i'll be able to use crobat so i do like the idea of keeping the site in case they focus on moltres if i go gale thrust here and they go ko the moltres and to ko that we need a little bit more Right up air balloons, or yeah, air balloons. I'm gonna throw those here. I'm gonna play the Marnie. We'll see what happens. Gotta remember to use the Dire Flame Wings. Need the VMAX, need the... Well, I got the Rapid Strike Energy, did not get the VMAX yet. And still get there. Uh, we could hit with the Moltres first here, actually. Um, and we have that right now, so I feel like that's probably fine. Uh, we have the Quick Ball for... Dude, I'm just like... <laughs> I, I need to play a little bit faster. Um, Dire Flame Wings. I could get rid of these two. I think I'm just gonna keep that for the crobat next turn though so we're just gonna chill aura burn hold this for the crobat um i guess it is possible my opponent get, finally finds a path to the peak they play one maybe they only play one though i bet they play at least two a two is like a number where it's like if you're playing path of the peak you're at least playing two sometimes you play three sometimes you play four but usually um if you see at least one there's probably two and the fact that they haven't seen another one yet makes me think they don't play three or four they're probably on that uh two life or one to two life um, actually, we have game in hand right now because we have a Urshifu V Max. I guess I was thinking that they were going to KO this, but because it's on the bench now, we're probably not going to KO it. And actually, we just have game in hand as long as my opponent doesn't Marty me. And even if they Marty me, once again, we've been reconstituting only 15 cards left in deck. Um, and this is draw power as well. We do draw a card every time. And if the Rose Tower sticks, that's more cards and just, just endless cards. So there's a Drizzile thin out. They have no Sobbles to evolve with, though. We took away all their Sobbles, which really does 
just kind of take away their options. They don't have a ton of options anymore. They kind of have to play with what they have in the hand, which is kind of the the power of just K win Sobbles and Drizzles. Like taking away those options is huge. And that's why we kind of play it that way or this way up against these Inteleon decks. We just kind of G-Max Rapid Flow really heavily uh, and then kind of deal, get our, find our last prize cards, wherever we can like find them, piece it together at the end to get the dub. We're about to get the dub here. We're going to get this boss KO on this Inteleon VMAX and close this one out. And yeah, nothing my opponent can do about it. They were pretty close, though. It was actually pretty close here at the end. I don't know if they could have won the game on their next turn, though. So we maybe had like an extra turn to play the game. But we are basically could have seen our whole deck this turn, I think, between the Reconstitutes, the Rose Tower, and the Crowbat. We pulled off the prize cards. I think we could, probably could have seen our whole deck here. Don't need to. Got everything we needed. Redub. Ooh, an okay opening hand. Of course, the problem is we open the Crowbat. The Battle VIP pass is great. But yeah, opening Crowbat feels pretty bad. If we do get like a Quick Ball here or something, though, we could use the E-Switch turn one and go for what are they playing they got the they have the cemetery the great balls energy search at first i was thinking they're playing mu v max but then i saw actually you know what? i think i know what this is i think it's the the silly um Bolton deck <laughs> which we should be able to pretty easily dismantle with just like g max rapid flow that's what we do against most sobble decks um so i don't i don't know why this wouldn't be any different being puked on off the rip always pleasant uh yeah i don't know why this would be any different to be honest just kind of flow 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 just go from there there's the amp uh, we could even get like a turn 100 furious blows to just like take knockouts oh that's actually really cool i forgot that it does that you get the great balls back that's just kind of insane actually you just get one we ball a great ball or one of each from this girl so you should play like a pokeball in this deck right or even multiple maybe because then you just get them back so like the the value off the reflips i feel like is just worth it but the great ball is like insane search yeah this deck's kind of cool actually I've like written off trying to play this deck uh, a lot, but now I kind of want to try it. <laughs> to be honest, now I kind of want to try this deck. Okay, here we go. Get ourselves the, the Art Articuno and the Moltres. We did probably just two Urshifu. We're going to try for this turn one attack here. Go with... Uh, I mean, we could attack with Crobat as well, actually, to be honest. But we need to get a... Oh, no, wait. I just have it because Reconstitute gets rid of the energy. Put it back. Uh, what am I even thinking then? I don't even know. We do need to do it before the research, though. So let's put a... Maybe this on top, so I don't get damaged. I could put the energy on top. We could attack with the Crobat. We should probably just attack with the Crobat, to be honest. Do I get greedy here? I don't want to damage my Crobat, though, because I think it's like, really weak. And they don't hit that hard, but they would hit hard enough where it would be like annoying if the Crobat got damaged, I think. I think we're going to hit an energy here, right? Someone tell me we're going to hit an energy here, please. All right, here we go. We're going to do this. Boom, boom. Yeah, we're going to attack with Crobat off the rip. Throw the Ursh down. Throw this down. Throw this here. Use this. E switch. And we'll be able to draw two with Rose. Like the chance of us getting energy is just so high. Like I just hope I don't get a uh rap strike energy. I shouldn't have said anything because then it's a higher chance I get it. Uh we got the energy. I don't think I need another Moltres in this matchup, so we're just gonna go with the research. We'll get this turn one knockout. And then look to go into the Urshis from there. Of course it means it's gonna be hard to get into the G Max rapid flows, I guess. But it won't be the end of the world, I don't think. Venomous Fang, take this knockout on the Sobble. I guess we don't really have a good follow-up attack, to be honest. But it's, like, better than... I guess it, removing their only Sobble from play feels pretty good as well. Because, like, that's, like... They like, can't even Drizzle out this turn. Anyways, maybe we get lucky enough to find our other E-Switch. And can kind of put together uh, an Urshifu on the next turn. Yeah, if we get lucky enough, we could put together an Urshifu on the next turn. Okay, there's the Vault End. So it does 130 damage. Is that, but that's it. It does 130. 260. You're two at KOing the, the Vs. Here comes the Puke. <laughs> Back to the deck. The Puke's kind of cool with the whole Yamper combo as well, because you want something to constantly pull out of the deck with the Great Balls. Um, so it just kind of increases your constant outs. To be honest, like, I really like that combo. Um, I am very curious, like I mentioned before, do they play a uh, Pokeball? I would play a Pokeball. I think Pokeball sounds kind of good in there. I'm definitely going to put together a Bolton deck tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to put it together and try it out. This actually looks like too much fun now that I'm seeing it. Uh, I played against one once, one before. It did not look like this much fun, though. But this actually looks like super fun to... Uh, to play some games with so i'm definitely gonna yeah just like the constant great ball urging like you gotta play a pokeball in here too though there's like no reason you shouldn't play a pokeball because you get one of each right yeah it's just like play, play, play two pokeballs so you don't prize it and then every yamper that comes down it's just like pokeball great ball pokeball great ball pokeball great ball and you're just kind of saucing them uh, and then just play like four quick shootings so you can get the two hit ko's as well maybe some old cemetery damage gets involved as well uh which is really good yeah i'm uh really liking the idea of this bolton deck I really want to try it out. <laughs> no, I just really want to try. Yeah, Great Ball back. It's so cool. That is actually so cool. Boom, Great Ball again. If you could run out of old cemeteries, it would be like something that'd be scary. But no one plays that many stadiums, I don't think. So it's not like not that big of a fear. There's a spark only one for 130. Like I said, I want to avoid that damage on my Crobat. Ooh, there's that 
energy. So we are just missing um, the E switch now. Oh, I and a little sad face that I missequenced. Um, that's bad. Um, I really want the E switch. So we could rotom phone first, and then could rotom phone first. And if there's no E switch there, we can quick ball. Okay, I like this. No E switch there. It doesn't matter what we take. We're just going to take something. We're going to shuffle the deck again by playing the quick ball. And yeah, no one, don't tell anyone that I made that mistake. There's one, yeah, the one E switch left in the deck. Throw this down. Air balloon here. Um, rush out for two. All the way this. Grab ourselves. The other Articuno, I don't think, well, it could be coming handy. Like the Passimian is definitely useless. The Articuno we could still utilize, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and do it like this. Let's get that E switch. Oh my gosh, that is juicy. Uh, juicy, juicy, juicy. So we're gonna go with a good old retreat. Good old accelerate some energy. And a good old E switch. Probably off the Crobat. I don't think I'm attacking with Crobat anymore. So we're gonna get that off the Crobat. And then get rid of two more dark energy, maybe. Just draw a card. Sure. Why not? And take out some Sobbles, I think, again. Well, we take a double Bolton, actually. So that way we, like, take away their attackers. I think it's a little bit better because, like, they're still attacking. I do want to remove quick shooting from play as well, but this feels a little bit better. I this is this just feels better. I think I don't really I can't explain it. It just feels better, so we're gonna go with it. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go with that. It does feel a little bit better. Yeah, I maybe should put an air balloon actually instead of on the Moltres. I probably should have put it on the Urshifu because I know it's gonna go with the G-Max Rapid Flow because I know I'm out of energy switch. I know I can't uh, actually use a G-Max Rapid Flow again next turn. We are fortunate enough to have this air balloon in our hand. I think it definitely made a mistake in not attaching this air balloon to the urshifu uh because now there's a chance we could whiff and now my opponent marnie's me uh, i didn't want to attach it then because i don't know if they play tool scrapper this deck could definitely play some tool scrapper to get rid of like capes on zations or suicunes although that kind of seems irrelevant so they probably don't play that to be honest they probably don't play that uh, so my second crobat in the deck is now the question because i actually don't know <laughs> i actually have no clue if it's in there so we could be walking into a slightly sticky situation coming up here um yeah we'll see Ordinary Rod grab. Go ahead and get themselves back some Bolton pieces. Probably, yeah, Bolton and a... Oh, Bolton and a Drizzile. Sure, makes sense. Makes sense. They were playing... We saw a... I don't know how much I like that other thing that they were playing in there. The Rescue. Oh, there's the Pokeball. That's that's what I'm hyped for. Let's go. The Pokeball. Now they can level ball for the Yamper. Oh, they got the Drizzile. I was going to say the Yam... I want to see the Yamper get back. Oh, they don't have any Yampers left. Um, maybe they'll grab one of those the rescue carrier thing or whatever it's called there it is now they get to get back the pokeball and the great ball this is gonna be sick actually i'm super excited to watch this play out they have the double yamps they have to make sure they play their pokeball first though is my second crobat in the deck i actually don't know yeah pokeball first and then yamper down again or great ball as well at least you want a great ball before you pokeball for sure the puke <laughs> oh he's the puke there is the puke they stay puking probably wants to Pokeball first, unless they're trying to draw into Pokemon, but it doesn't look like they really want to draw into Pokemon, to be honest. I wouldn't want to draw into Pokemon if I was them. Tails on the Pokeball. Here's another Yamp. There it is, a Pokeball <laughs> and a, what's it called there? Actually, you know what could be a really cool addition in this deck as well? I'm like, like focused on the Bolton deck right now. I'm not, I don't even care what I'm, what's going on on my side. Um, Another really cool addition in their deck actually would be uh, a, a Leon. I think a Leon would be super good in there, actually. Something I'd want to include as well. Um... Yeah, a second crowbat in the deck. Yes, it is. All right, cool. Grab the crowbat. Um, throw down an Ursh attached to Ursh. Play the crowbat. Seems like the move. That time I didn't misplay. The 20 damage had to happen. Somebody call me out. Ooh, we got the air balloon. That's really, really good. Once again, thinning out the deck with the the reconstit or yeah, reconstitute is just so strong. Two more dead cards out of the deck. Ourselves a dire flame wings cooking. Ourselves an air balloon cooking. Retreat and gale thrust yeah i don't think the bolton can quite keep up with the g max rapid flows from urshifu but uh some other decks i think this guy the bolton's got a shot against a, a lot of other decks in the format to be honest so um yeah look out for the bolton um so yeah, the quick shootings are finally online for my opponent it took them a long time to get here but they have finally done it <laughs> they finally got the quick shootings a little bit too late i think a little bit too late um it's one of those times where better late than never doesn't apply because it's just too late and the Intellions honestly could have stayed home. And, you know, just seeing them out here now is a little bit frustrating. And there's a concede from my opponent. Yeah, we had the flow next turn. So we're going to be cleaning up that one 
for sure on the following turn. That's going to do it for these games with the Urgent Food Ultra deck. Probably my favorite deck to play right now. But that Bolton deck might become my new favorite. Going to have to try that out tomorrow on the stream. Which, by the way, if you're not checking out, you should go check it out. Twitch.tv forward slash AzulGG. Link in the description. Give it a click. Give it a follow. See you over there. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow as well with my next video. If you're new here, subscribe. Hit the bell. And if you like the video, as always, give it a like. Peace.